For the most part, people only associate the housing crisis with large cities and towns, but it's very evident here also in Longford, and for an increasing number of families, it's very real and the biggest challenge they now face. We don't have a properly functioning housing market in, in Longford. Average prices to build a new home are still higher than the average sale price, and the numbers simply don't stack up. Presently, we have close to 1,000 families on the social housing list in the county, and we simply cannot build the houses fast enough to cater for the rising demand. There's also a need for an affordable housing scheme to cater for families trapped in the middle who are over the threshold for social housing and are unable to buy a house on EBIT. The challenge for the Council for the past two years has been to try and work around punitive conditions set out in the Department's current affordable housing scheme. We are probably the first generation in Ireland where a working couple are simply unable to buy their home because of cost or regulatory issues. I'm very keen and determined to ensure that the people of Longford are not left behind and that each family has the same access to affordable housing as elsewhere in the country. Equally, it's time that we kick-started commercial house building in the county. We're a county of builders with as many as one in four involved in the construction sector. A three-bedroom house hasn't been built in the county for the past 11 years to be sold, and per capita head we have the highest concentration of social housing in Ireland. A re-energised, vibrant housing market though will depend on the arrival of somewhere in the region of 300 to 400 well-paid jobs in the healthcare or pharma sector. The two challenges, housing and job creation, are indelibly linked when it comes to County Longford. But it's time for us to move on the housing issue, social, affordable and commercial. Move them centre stage because it's time, time to make Longford matter.